Hello everyone, it's Rahali from Belladonna and Bones. We're in the garden, just a quick um, autumn tour of the garden. Um, so I've, in this pot I've moved a bunch of things in. Um, we'll go through them. So we've got a night scented jessamine. So it's not a jasmine, it's um, system nocturnum. It smells like a jasmine though. It's lovely. Um, this one is my chase tree um, vitex, which is gorgeous. Some uh, bay trees that we struck from Robert Snoyers, if you remember those. Um, got a yerba mate. Um, some licorice going in there. Um, we've got. Oops, oh, sorry. Terrible video today. Um, come away from the monkey, which is trying to take over the shot. So we've got a withania, um, somniferum. Um, it loves being here. We've got our um, motherwort and our cold spots getting ready to go to winter and then we'll have lots of flowers. Um, we've got some viburnum, I think. Could be mine. We'll find out. Um, and some black whorehound, which is going to flower. Uh, the lang lang. Probably wants to go into the hothouse already. Doesn't really like the um, cold snap. We've got a double sex juniper there. Um, the last of the belladonna berries. Uh, that's on the Turkish belladonna. Um, the mugwort, which is going crazy. The ginkgo had a bad summer and lost a lot of leaves. But seems to be still going okay. Um, Corsican belladonnas are popping up some new shoots already. Um, they'll go back though. Um, there's my Japanese wisteria. Um, here is the um, Siberian ginseng. So it's got a lovely hat with that plant. Um, here's our meadow sweet. Um, so lots of salicylix in there. Uh, horseradish. Belladonna at the back that didn't flower this year. Um, some red clover, uh, which is lovely. Our yew, errant tomato plant, hops, which has just given me no flowers. So if anyone has any tips on growing hops, please let me know. Um, what else do we have here? That's interesting for you. Okay, so that's the camphor wormwood. Um, this is Sambang um, Noir. That's a purple uh, broadleaf plantain, which I just love. Um, more cold sweet because I love it. Um, Damiana, which is happy as Larry. Um, what else do we have? Some Rowan cuttings, which are happy. Overrun aloes. Overrun with parsley, <laughs> mainly. <laughs> um, there's my linden in there, baby linden. Our um, hawthorn and blackthorn. And our very tall rowan. Be interested to see when that decides to put out suckers. Um, lots of flowers on my little tea camellia, which are kind of amusing. Um, I should really should pick out the tips um, and have some green tea. Uh, nettles. Our oh, flypy. They're really good though. Um, we've got in here, we've got an angelica, um, some ginger, and some salvias in there, and a, a banastoporus capi. Oh, over here, we've got lots and lots of aloes. Um, a few other bits and pieces. Right. I'm just going to walk out rather than pausing the video because it's on the iPhone and I can't be bothered stopping. Alright, so we've got lots of dagger, very very easy to grow in Melbourne. Um, the I totally failed at harvesting the yarrow this year so we've got lots of seed heads there. Um, the white sage is thinking about Reusing its head for the year. 
Tansy's nuts. Time is nuts. Rosemary needs to be distilled. That's the lemon verbena which I distilled today. Um, sage. I uh, probably will do a distill of the sage since we've got so much. Um, lemon geranium and a mugwort. The in the background there you can see the seeding uh, clary sage. Everything's looking a little sad, but you know, that's what happens. The peach tree um, is throwing off all its leaves. Um, this is vetiver. It's quite happy. Burdock root. That'll come up soon and I'll pick up, I'll use the burdock, the root. Um, more yarrow. Some more skullcap. Um, big giant leaves are elecampane. I might actually try to distill that for the inulin uh, this year. Lots and lots and lots of goji cola. Um, catnip. Um, as you can see, a lot of things went to seed this year because we've had a bit of a rough year. But um, we'll get there. This is uh, false licorice. Um, it's an African dream herb, which I can never say. But if you check one of my other videos, I have. Um, lots and lots of ale hoof, which is spread everywhere. Um, and the fern garden is quite happy. So, yeah, um, that's a quick, 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 quick and dirty um, video of the garden today because we're at the end of the season. There's a lot of tidying up to do. The um, iris needs to come up and be divided. Um, and harvested, and then the root needs to be dried and stored for um, two to three years to get the right scent. Um, so, yeah, lots of harvesting to do, uh, lots of replanting. We're going to do a bit of a rejig in this front garden this year. Um, look at what grows well where. Um, get a bed of calendula in. Um, and yeah, lots and lots of things to do. Yeah. I hope you'll enjoy coming along with me. I've got heaps of really fun ideas to do. Um, and I'll talk to you all soon. Come see me at bellandbones.com. You can reach me at bellandbones at gmail.com. Um, and if you have any questions about herbs or herbs and magic, um, let me know and I'll do some videos. Maybe we'll do a Q&A.